Hey guys, just wanted to make a video here showing uh, some features of the Scribeware summary page because it can really do quite a bit of things. Um, this is uh, an example of a finished report and uh, this is in the HTML version and this, this is the summary page. So um, basically I've taken all the different modifiers, so major concern, repair, recommended maintenance items, all of those have been sent to the summary page in sequence so that somebody can kind of read a list of repair items. And you can see they're, they're kind of sequenced together. There's grounds and exterior siding. The bold tells you where that comment came from. And then of course you can click on the hot link and it'll deliver you to that part of the report uh, where the comment came from. So here's that citing comment right here. Um, so pretty straightforward. Um, now the cool thing is on the back end you can choose which of these modifiers you want to send to the summary page. You can even rename all of these modifiers and you can choose whether or not you would like the media to go to the summary page. So let me show you how that works on the back end. Okay, so now I'm on the uh, back end of the report here. This is the one the home inspector works on to fill out the report. And we're going to go into the settings down at the lower left. And then if you go under observations, this is where this should start looking familiar. These are all your modifiers. So you could click on repair. You could rename it. You could give it a different color. You can give it a different definition. And then down here, you can include it in the summary, include media in the summary. Uh, you can even toggle it off for the entire report, which is a whole other conversation of a different style of report you can do. Um, so anyway, these are all some different um, controls for the summary page. So you get to choose which things show up at the summary page and you can kind of give them the definitions you want to. Okay, so now we're back in the uh, finished report here in the summary, but you can do more with the summary. So if the real estate agent likes to just print off the summary page, they can hit summary PDF. Uh, and for me, one thing I like about the way I have it set up is because I don't have media in my summary page, my summary PDF takes, you know, what might be a hundred page report with all the pictures and everything. And it boils it down to, I mean, we could scroll to the bottom here, but you know, it's about an, uh, eight pages of text. So it can be a really nice document if you're just kind of working off of stuff. So again, all they have to do is hit uh, summary PDF and they get a separate summary page. And then finally, uh, realtors and clients can use the create request list. So this is kind of a backdoor to the entire uh, report and they can scroll through and ask for specific things. So uh, we could go to the roof section and I've already kind of toggled this on. Um, here, if we could remove the images, you'd see what this would be like. It's all sort of grayed out, but if we wanted to ask for that, we could toggle that guy on. We could go to the siding section and we could ask for the siding items that we found to be corrected. Um, and you can even do some cool stuff. You can add comments and redemptive values. We would like this corrected and you could add some, some monetary amounts for it. If you scroll all the way to the top, you can even title it. So request list, like uh, we could call this builders repair list if you wanted to, and you could add comments up here. So really pretty, pretty darn flexible. The, it's a nice back door. And then when we get to the bottom here, you, you scroll all the way to the end and then you hit create request list. Uh, so this is going to just uh, create a custom PDF of just specific items that your client or the client, the agent have worked for. These also present a really nice marketing opportunity. You can make a video kind of like this showing how it works off a sample report and then uh, send that to the agents, you know, use it on social media and kind of um, help everybody know that you have this nice tool. So this would be an example of um, just you know, I've got a couple redemp uh, redemption totals, so two thousand dollars. So a nice, nice little feature here. Uh, so I hope that helps, guys. Thanks for watching. This is kind of a overview of all the different things you can do uh, with the Scribeware summary page.